How does the one pedal driving technology that combines the gas and brake pedals work in electric vehicles? This method, which sounds quite strange to those who have not tried it, actually brings many benefits. These affect both driving comfort and vehicle health. We are all familiar with the brake system of standard internal combustion engine vehicles. In automatic transmission vehicles, we press the brake pedal when we want to stop, while in manual transmission vehicles, we also engage the clutch along with the brake. Additionally, in manual transmission vehicles, we need to downshift. However, in most electric motor vehicles, things can work quite differently than what we are used to. Automobile manufacturers that offer the familiar brake pedal also provide a technology that does not require you to use this pedal. The one-pedal driving method, which sounds quite strange, is actually very functional for both the vehicle and the driver. What is the basic difference of this system from normal? The one-pedal system allows the car to slow down as you release the accelerator pedal, in contrast to the traditional method where you would have to use the brake pedal separately. This almost eliminates the need to lift your foot off the pedal and press the brake again. While it may seem like a small and unnecessary difference, once you get used to the system, you will realize its benefits both in the city and on long drives. In addition to providing driving comfort, this technology also has numerous benefits for the vehicle. For example, the load on the brake pads is much lower compared to using the traditional brake method, which extends the lifespan of vehicle components and increases maintenance intervals. Additionally, the regenerative braking feature allows you to recover some of the energy spent while driving by converting the kinetic energy generated when you release the accelerator pedal into electricity, which is possible thanks to the electric motor. Furthermore, this allows for a slight increase in the vehicle's range. But how does this system work and enable all of these benefits? During the regenerative braking stage we mentioned earlier, the friction generated while slowing down the vehicle is used to charge the electric motor, which acts as a generator. This means that the brake system is less strained, energy loss is minimized, and this can even slightly extend the vehicle's range. Furthermore, when you release the accelerator pedal, the brake lights come on as expected. It's important to note that different vehicles have different ways to activate this system. Some require you to turn it on in the settings, while others have a button to activate it. However, activating this system doesn't render the brake pedal useless. In emergency situations, you can still use this pedal for sudden braking. In fact, you can use it during normal driving as well. This system is not like Tesla's fully autonomous driving system, you can think of it more like a lane-keeping system. It's an assistive technology designed to make your driving experience more comfortable and relaxed. It's not recommended to use it in emergency situations. Finally, let's note that this system is also offered in some hybrid models. If you have tried this driving method in models such as Hyundai Kona, Volvo XC40, and Nissan Leaf, you can share your experiences in the comments section. I am Samit Ozalp. After learning about regenerative braking used in next-generation cars, you may have discovered how this technology can enhance your driving experience. For more content and information on this topic, you can subscribe to my channel. My channel features interesting information, reviews, and much more about car technology. If you want to join this enjoyable journey, you can support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.